Now for the fun bit, the oils. I've got acrylic, white acrylic base, titanium white is going to come on now. Some terps, chuck in some linseed oil. It's like making mess, isn't it? Sort of. Mix it. It's going over here. Some footprints when I was walking on it. I'm going to leave those. I think, you know, you won't notice it, but it adds to the whole thing. Titanium pigment is brilliant. It's really opaque. And with the acrylic underneath, it shouldn't shine through, but it, there's a whole lot of depth to it. And it's a bit of feathering here. Some drips. More texture stuff. Build it up a bit. Because if you've got little ridges and stuff, the light reflects in all sorts of directions and makes it look really, you know, when it goes on the stretcher, whoops, I waited a few hours before coming back to see if I was happy with this monstrosity. Got this other light here that I chuck on. So yeah, that's my day's work. Bit of a strange thing, but I think it gets there. It's a combination of West Head, North Head, and Balmoral Shark Net, all in one. Whole lot of white. I mean, it's a strange thing, really. What is it? I don't know. But, you know, we'll see. Anyway, have a good night, people. I'm going to go have a cup of coffee. Oops, forgot one more thing. This. Just chuck some... Um, oils on it out of the tube and it's going to have these little lines so it's a bit abstract you sort of scratch into it maybe another one Not so it looks like that, but it's like a submarine, I think. I don't know, maybe. Well, we do know off the heads, you know, in the Japanese submarines World War Two. <laughs> This is titanium over there. Oh, the neighbors are out.
It might be not coffee time, it's beer time. Okay. Uh, no, I don't like it. And I like the other little, little ones. Oh, it's a bit more subtle. Yeah, it's better. And don't forget the hearts. I like the hearts here. So here we are. It's night time. I'm just coming out to see what I did today. It's all a bit of a blur. So going to North Head with Purple Cloud. I think that's what I'll call it. Um, so yeah, a few previous versions are totally obliterated underneath it all. Previous versions just didn't really have anything, I thought. I just didn't know what it was. Now it's a definite um, North Head painting. Goes with that one and that one and that one and I'll stretch it in the next couple of days and see if I like it vertically and the process continues anyway catch you later yeah so this painting up uh, for the last video a little bit of a risk I was on the floor and I really didn't know what it would like look like when I put vertical. Sometimes when I go from the floor and make it vertical, it's a bit of a disappointment. It's sort of not totally right, but now it's, yeah, I put it vertically and put on the stretcher and it's there. So, let's see the background there. It's funny, now's the time I can get the name for it. It's going to be called The Road to North Head with Pink Cloud. I think it's become, um, the last three paintings have led into this one as a series that I'll work. I think this is the major piece for the show. It's actually quite I think it has a whole lot of, a whole whole lot a whole lot in it. Um, it's sort of surreal. Got the shark there, the box of drawing, the stuff that's in the floor works pretty well. So I would say that I'm sort of a bit happy with it. Um, I will um, rest for about I don't know, half a day and start working on the next body of work. Um, thanks for watching this. Um, since the virus thing is here, it's made it quite difficult for us artists. Make it made it very difficult financially. Um, but I suppose I've just immersed myself in the studio now. I'm pretty much painting for the purpose of painting. Um, not really thinking about exhibiting or showing it off, what I'm doing. Um, you lose your ego in a way. Um, you don't think about money. Um, obviously, you need to paint, you need to survive, you need to sell paintings. Um, but, um, and also making these videos, I've sort of managed to lose my <laughs> inhibition, so to speak, um, and get totally immersed in the painting. Um, so the act of painting now, for me, has actually become more pure than it's ever been. This crazy sort of, crazy sort of time, you question yourself why you want to do this. I don't even 
do that now, I just do it. So, anyway, thanks for watching this and um, look after yourself.